So plasminogen deficiency is also sometimes called type 1 plasminogen deficiency, and it is a congenital condition that affects various internal mucosal surfaces of the body. Uh, it can result in focal inflammation as well as the development of various uh, pseudomembranous lesions, also called fibrous lesions. It is an autosomal recessive condition, which means that offspring of parents must inherit two copies of a recessive gene in order for the condition to present. So for every offspring, there's a one in four chance that the child will be affected with the disease. The most common manifestation of plasminogen deficiency is a condition called ligneous conjunctivitis. And that is affected uh, of, you know, involvement of the eyes. So what you can see there is a child will often present with irritated red um, eyelids, the upper or the lower eyelid, and also, like I mentioned, the uh, formation of those woody, thick, fibrous lesions. Patients can also have involvement in other mucosal surfaces of the body, ranging from the oropharynx, the nasopharynx, the tracheobronchial tree, um, and other areas as well. Development of these fibrous lesions are usually mediated by trauma or infection, and that can range from anything from an internal surgery, uh, where the mucosal surface is traumatized, or something as innocuous as se seasonal allergies or a cold. Uh, though that is most common, development of these lesions can be spontaneous as well.